Hi everyone, John Reed here from at Learn to Stargaze and author of the 50 Things to See with a Telescope series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to collimate the Explore Scientific First Light Newtonian 114 millimeter reflecting telescope. Okay, to show you how to do that, I threw this out of collimation and um, I am going to show you how to fix it, except it's not as easy as I thought it would be. This telescope cannot be collimated the traditional way very easily because even if I remove this focal extender, I can't get my eye close enough to the telescope to see the mirror clips on the primary mirror. That said, here's the traditional way that you can try to collimate a typical Newtonian telescope. You take an eyepiece hole cover with a hole in it, you put it in to where the eyepiece goes, you look in, and you center the primary mirror in your field of view by adjusting the, the secondary mirror here, and you adjust the primary mirror to make sure that the reflected image is centered by adjusting these knobs here. First, you loosen these screws. So this process for this telescope doesn't work because when you look in here, even if you remove this focal extender, you can't get your eye close enough to see that primary mirror. So, what you're going to have to do to collimate this telescope is use a laser collimator like this. So these can be found on Amazon for between $20 and $30. What you do is you make sure that that is snug, tight, turn it on. And what you want to make sure is that the laser beam here, the return laser beam, is centered on that little um, little hole right there. So to do that, step one is you make sure that the laser beam is centered in the center of the primary mirror, and I can see that it is centered there right now. If not, what you would do is loosen the center screw here to loosen the secondary, and then you're going to adjust the position of that beam by, you, by adjusting these adjustment screws here, then tightening it up again, all while making sure it stays the laser beam stays centered. So to adjust the laser beam's position uh, on the screen here, now you're going to adjust the position of the primary mirror. You're going to do that by loosening these three screws. And I'm actually going to do that here now because I can see this telescope is off because I've been messing with it all day. I'm going to loosen those up a bit. Adjust these knobs to center that. Okay, I can see that it is now centered. And now, as I retighten these screws, I'm going to have to do it very carefully to make sure that the beam does not move outside of that central hole. Okay, so now I'm not sure if you can see it there on camera but the return laser beam is hitting the hole in the center of this laser collimator. So that's what I recommend for this telescope. If the mirrors get out of alignment or if it ships without aligned mirrors, you're going to need a laser collimator device or go to your local astronomy club and I'm sure someone there will be able to put you in touch with someone that has one. I hope this helped. If you uh, like this video, please follow the new YouTube channel at Learn to Stargaze, Learn to Stargaze. Uh, at Learn to Stargaze on Twitter and Instagram.